Hello, welcome to 9design 3D. Today we will make this gamer girl character with clean topology. If you want, you can buy this whole project file with really low price. You can change, optimize or play on it how you want. If you are interested, link in the description. Let's go to the tutorial. First, we will add our reference image. I search on Google as Chibi Blueprint front and side view head. You can find it easily. Decrease opacity. Shift it to duplicate for side view. Numpad 3 is for the side view. And uncheck the editables. For this, add cube. As to scale. Add loop cut with Ctrl R and delete half of it. Add mirror modifier and check clipping. Give subdivision surface modifier for this. Ctrl A to apply that. Z to wireframe in edit mode. Don't forget to activate your old with proportional edit. You can move your with G vertices to match your reference image to your head shape. If vertices and edges not enough, you can add some loop cut with Ctrl R. For slide to vertices, G twice. Select middle faces of the face for nose and E to extrude in Y axis. Choose this edge line and G twice to slide and select vertices M at center for merge. You can give shape with your front and side view to your nose, eye hole and cheeks. K for the knife tool and cut some edge line like that and enter to apply it. Use your knife tool again, add another loop cut for it. For the neck part of it, G to move your vertices, give some around the shape. Select faces and delete them. Give circular shape. With Alt, choose your edge line and E to extrude down. S, Z, 0. Select neck edge and Ctrl B to bevel. For mouth, give a bit around the shape for it. Select faces. E to extrude and S to scale for inner part. With the knife tool, add some round the cut again. Choose your vertices and give a bit of lip shape for the character. Select inner edge line and Ctrl B to bevel to move your vertices. With the knife tool, cut another round shape and dissolve this edge. You can press G twice for slide your edges. Add another loop cut with Ctrl R to around your mouth. And cut again, like this line edge. For we will make a bit rounded to our nose. Select around the mask type of the edges and Ctrl B to bevel and S to scale. Add cut like that and dissolve some edges near the eye hole. Inner part of the vertex and eye hole, delete this. Select edge line like that and Ctrl B to bevel. Now 
With Alt, choose your edge line, E to extrude, right click and S to scale. For Lip, select Inner Vertices and Alt V for Separated and X to Delete Inner Faces. Add another loop cut. With the nose round edge, Ctrl B to bevel again and place it to your vertices like that. Delete this face and under the face, E to extrude nose edge and select four faces under the nose F to fill. For the other vertices, you can merge in at center. Make another edge line with cut. E to extrude some cheek vertices. M to add center. And have to fill. Add another cut with knife tool. Dissolve an edge for giving quad shape. Under the lip to the neck you can make same thing. In the nose part of it for the eyelid Alt V for separate X to delete faces and E to extrude again and F to fill for the nose part to the eye. Add another loop cut for upper and down cheek. You can add another cut for round the shape around your nose and give some circular shape like that. For inner part of your nose, select edge line with Alt, E to extrude, right click and scale. Again, select inner part of it and E to extrude as to scale. Our nose is ready now. Shade smooth and add subdivision surface modifier with levels viewport 1. Give your lips a natural shape. With proportional edit, you can play with your vertices like that. Let's add eyes because we will make eyelids. Add UV sphere and place it to your character's head. Select around the eye hole, E to extrude, right click and S to scale and E to extrude in Y axis again. For eyelid, around the edge line, you can G to move in Y axis a bit. Add mirror modifier to your eye and select mirror object as your head. Let's make body part of it. Add your body reference image. Shift it to duplicate for side view. Match your head with your character. Select bottom edge line of the head. E to extrude down. You can scale in the wireframe for side view with numpad 3. You can look like that. E to extrude and scale your character's body. If your loop cut's not enough, you can add another loop cut. Give some shape for boobs and belt.
Characters main shape will look like that. In solid mode, you can select your vertices, right click and smooth vertices. G to move some of the vertices. And give shape like that. Add another loop cut for under the boobs. For arms, select face the side of it and X to delete. Right click loop tool, circle and E to extrude your arm like that for matching your reference image. For legs, choose bottom edge line with Alt, right click loop tool, circle F to fill, I to insert. You can uncheck the clipping for not snapping vertices. E to extrude down. Right click loop to circle and you can scale your character's legs. With side view, place it. For matching your reference image. Don't forget to Activate your clipping again when you moving for your pelvis vertices. Let's make a hand, add a cube and scale in tab to edit mode, add 3 loop cut in X axis, add 2 loop cut in Y axis, select faces, go to individual origin. Press I twice and E to extrude it. For thumb, make same thing. I to insert, E to extrude and rotate a bit. Add subdivision surface modifier to your hand and shade smooth. You can add some loop cuts for it. In wireframe with proportional edit, you can give some curvy natural shape for your hand. In bottom faces, delete faces, loop tool, circle and as to scale. We have to match our arm vertices with hand vertices. So you can add a loop cut for your body. For matching this, select some vertices on the hand and Merge at center. Now they are equal. Ctrl J to join them. Place it to your hand like that. Shift select your edge lines and right click loop to bridge. Your hand is ready. You can give some shape to your vertices like that. Let's make knees. Select this edge line and Alt V for separate this. Select knees faces and G to move in Y axis. It will look a bit natural. Let's make ear. For this, you can close your subdivision look like that for making this solid view, solid mode. Select faces, I to insert and I to insert again. Select around the face loop, E to extrude and R to rotate in Z axis. Select inner part of your ear, I to insert and bottom part of it, I to insert again, E to extrude and scale. Give a bit round shape to your ear. With the subdivision surface modifier, it will look like that. You can scale your vertices. And G to move your sum of faces. It will a bit a cartoon character. So I didn't make really natural humanic ear. You can scale your ear for this type of look.
let's make foot at Q scale add two loop cuts with side and one loop cut with front as in z-axis again into the wireframe with Z place to your vertices add another loop cut middle of it K for the knife tool G twice to slide your edges select faces press I twice E to extrude in Y axis and E to extrude again. Scale. In wireframe, you can scale your fingers and base full shape. Delete top part of it. Loop tool, circle, and S in Y axis. Add subdivision surface modifier to foot. You can add some loop cut and scale your fingers like that. We have to match our vertices, foot and leg. You can add some another extra loop cut. We will make same thing for the hands. Ctrl J to join them and loop tool bridge it will give some a weird shape so go to face orientation that's see it's not correct we select all faces a and shift n to recalculate faces that's flip it normals it works now our foods are ready you can continue to give some a bit natural shape like that Let's make some socks. Select faces, shift it to duplicate and P for selection. Scale your edge lines to fit your leg. Delete finger parts of the socks. And E to extrude as to scale. F to fill front of it. You can place your vertices. A to select all faces, E to extrude, right click, Alt S to scale. Select an edge line, E to extrude, right click and Alt S to scale again. You can add another loop cut for giving details your socks. Let's make some pant or short, how you want to say. Shift it to duplicate, P for selection and S to scale some edges of it with A select all faces E to extrude right click and Alt S to scale you can choose some edge line bottom of it and make same process for giving some details to your short let's make some basic t-shirt Select character body spaces, shift it to duplicate, P for selection. As to scale in Y and X axis to your edges. Play with your vertices for correct some part of it. Select all with A, E to extrude, right click and Alt S again. You can give some details like that. Let's make some headphones, add cylinder, scale, in tap to edit mode, E to extrude and scale, I to inset, E to extrude, E to extrude again and scale to your headphone.
make inner part of like that. Select top faces, E to extrude and scale. You can give some bevel with Ctrl B, some edges if you want to smooth it. Let's make head part of it, add circle, delete half of it, E to extrude, Alt S to scale and E to extrude in Y axis again. And you can make with same process to detailed part of it. You can add mirror modifier with clipping. And add mirror modifier your headphone again. Apply your modifiers. And place it to your character's neck. Let's make some hair at curve circle, at curve pad. Go to pad geometry setting under the bevel, select your bezier curve as an object in edit mode. You can subdivide and give some shape like that for your hair parts. In pad, you can alt as to scale. Place it to your character's head. I will make some hair bank type of it. An auto proportional edit. Give shape how you want. In object mode, you can scale. With Ctrl T, you can rotate your some part of head. We will use actually same method for making all hairs. Shift it to duplicate due to move vertices and Ctrl T for rotation. That's how you want. If you want make a straight hair, if you want make curl hair with this method. For game engines, I'm not sure about the, it can be used. Maybe we have to, of course, we have to convert it to mesh. But it can be heavy sometimes. I will some hair cards for my other project. I will make tutorial on it. But for now, I will use curl like that for giving hair shape. I won't give mirror modifier because left ear will be open. Shift it to duplicate for under head part of it. For top part of head, shift it to duplicate again. Scale and place your curves like that. Or here's actually ready. For mouth, select inner part of it, E to extrude in Y axis and F to fill. Let's make unwrap. Select your neck part, right click and mark seam. For make same thing for back part of head and around the lips with hands and armpits. You mark seam like that. When we will paint it, it will make easiest. In UV Edit tab, A to select all, U, Unwrap. 
you can scale and rotate your map. Let's make some eyelashes. Select eyelid faces. Shift it to duplicate, P for selection. Add subdivision surface modifier. And E to extrude like that. You can give some shape. Add mirror modifier. Select your head object. For eyebrow, we make same thing. Let's make some texture paint. Add base color texture. And add new color palette. Choose color what you want. Don't forget to enable mirror with X. You can paint your character with sulfur and smear brush. You can get some help for smoothness to looking. Add some contours to your characters and add some lip color like making a makeup. It's not different to them. Give some red color to the lips. For eyes, add material eyes and sanket material iris. E to extrude inner part of it and as to scale. In shading tab, first U to unwrap project view from bounds. After that, add gradient and color ramp. Connect them each other and add third color variation to your color ramp. Select your gradient texture and Ctrl T for mapping roll. Texture coordinates UV will plug to the mapping vector. Gradient texture will be spherical. For location, set minus 0.5 in scale x axis. You can tidy up your iris and decrease roughness. Give other materials to your eyelashes and eyebrows. You can make second material for inner part of the eyelid. For hairs, choose your color. Select all hairs and last selection material at color. Ctrl L and link material. For mouth, I want to close it a bit. Choose some vertices and G to move in Z axis. Our character will be like that. I want to make an accessoire like a septum. Add circle and scale. E to extrude. Alt has to scale, give subdivision surface modifier and give some color for it. You can shift it to duplicate for making earring and ear cuff. You can make some choker, make same method as others. For socks, give a color and add second color for details. For the fabrics, you can increase your roughness. Let's set up the render scene, add plane and color it. Place your area lights. Our setup scene will be like that. You can get some animations from Mixamo or if you want, you can leave it like that. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and if you like the video, please like it. If I miss something, let me know in comments. See you later.